We have every opportunity to have more women than we ever had before. I've been involved in politics for a number of years and um, last election cycle I was the vice chair of recruitment so I was recruiting candidates all around the, the country and I uh, traveled to 22 different congressional districts all with women running, um, traveled 20,000 miles and I can tell you it is the best crop of candidates and the best crop of women candidates that I've ever seen in my political career. They're diverse, they have stepped up on their own. Uh, they weren't necessarily asked to run. 31-year-old Lauren Underwood, an African-American nurse from a very white, Republican-oriented congressional district who won a seven-way primary with 60% of the vote. You know, I mean, that's defying the odds. Amy McGrath, the first Marine fighter pilot um, ever in the history of our country who's running down in Kentucky and won that primary against the odds. Uh, we have Abby Finkenauer running in Eastern Iowa. She'd be the youngest woman ever elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. She's 28 years old. People like Betsy Dirksen Lonergan out of Central Illinois who has never run for anything, but um, her son went through a potentially fatal illness and she sees her opponent as uh, fighting uh, against the Affordable Care Act and it motivated her to run. So, I mean, it's story after story after story of these fantastic women who are running. And, um, you know, if you could pro profile every last one of them, I'm sure those watching this would just be in awe of what wonderful candidates we have. So, yeah, so my thought as I sit here right now, I know between now and November is, a, you know, like a million political lifetimes away, but I'm going to predict that we will take back the House and in large part it will be because of these women candidates that we have running all over the country. Thank you.